Good morning, Basil. How are you? Are you enjoying the sun? It is day six of a week on apocalypse food. Basil is clearly looking away, you little shit. You are looking even further away than... Hello. Is it because the sun's in your eyes? <laughs> so, um, yes, I am naturally feeling hungry this morning. Uh, two days left to go of the week. So it's time to get some breakfast, isn't it, Basil? Right, I've kind of run out of breakfast-themed items. There's only so many beans and sausages I can have. So, instead, why not have a Wicked Kitchen sweet potato and beans chili mac? Mmm, so this is a vegan thing. Interesting! Uh, a delicious blend of beans and sweet potato and a punchy chili sauce. It's not breakfast in the slightest, but it has beans on the packaging, so I guess this is what we're gonna have. And I just add water to it, and uh, how long can it last? January 2021, so strangely not as long as the stuff with me in it. Pfft, whatever, let's have it. it. Smells really good actually, real hit of cumin in there. So there is a fill line on the side. I hate it when they put these bloody things on the outside because it's harder to judge. Uh, no, not quite there yet. Uh, oh my god, I don't know. That'll do! Okie doke. It's had its time. It's... oh. Oh dear. Needs a bit of a stir. Oh, that's spicy. It says mild on the bloody thing. God, if this is their version of mild, I don't want to know what spicy is. Oh, it tastes fine. It's just all spices. <laughs> Not what you want for breakfast. But it tastes all right. Beans in there, breakfast. That's going to give me a clear out in a couple of hours, climbing. Bit of reading this morning. Yeah, I know. Reading and everything. What has quarantine come to? Oh, by the way, you can still buy Viral, my uh, novel, on ebook to keep yourself entertained during these times. Do you remember this book, Mr. Bean's Diary? Blimey. It's not, would you really call it a book? I don't know. It is a humorous... Jape. I don't know what I'm saying. I've had a nap this morning. I do like naps. One of my hobbies. One of my many pastimes. I would say if there was some sort of championship for napping, I would be able to win it. You know, and I'm not saying that lightly. I uh, I would definitely be world champion if there was something that um, that was possible. I can't change pages. That's right, I said change pages, because I'm a rebel. Change pages. Look at this mess. Amazing. Oh God, I need another nap. It's not even lunchtime yet. I'm just rambling on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until lunch before I film anything else, because um, cause I'm going insane. Right, I'm starting to run a little thin on the ground uh, as far as my meals go, so I'm going to be rationing my rations before long. So, I'm going to crack out this bad boy, and bad boy is used lightly. This is a snack noodle, and in no way it's supposed to look like a pot noodle. And yes, of course, this is a child of Aldi. Will Aldi be the uh, feature of a future week on? We will see, unless they uh, they just ran to that all the Aldis and they never reopen during these times. But yes, this is a uh, imitation pot noodle. And um, yeah, it's time to crack this thing open. What's, how long? Yeah, February next year, so that's a good year. So um, yes, <laughs> let's see, ready in four minutes. I doubt it if anything else has been like it is, but chicken. Oh, there's our little... Oh, I'm guessing this is the soy sauce parcel. Parcel? What am I even saying? Get in. Well, there it is. There's my not 
noodle, not pot noodle. Don't know where I'm going with this. It smells nice. And the uh, the sauce I put in, it didn't really smell like soy sauce. It was like, I don't know, teriyaki or something? I don't, I don't know what it... I mean, it says light soy sauce, but it was like it was like vinegar looking. It was not soy sauce looking. But uh, let's try it. You know what? That's not bad. I do like the occasional pot noodle, even if they are hellishly awful for you. This thing has 30% of your daily salt, 18% of your saturates, uh, 341 calories, so it's actually fairly loaded on the old cow side. That's really nice. Salty, nice chicken flavour, some veggies in there. Mm. That will do, pig. That will do. I need to do some some uh, like eBay. I don't know. You've you've probably seen in the background all the crap on the spare bed. We uh, need to stick some of the old Lego on eBay. But how many people are going to be interested in buying you know used and not necessarily used Lego during times like these? Probably everybody loves Lego, and it's going to give them something to do. <laughs> what are you doing? Kissing his tail. <laughs> Basil, I'm sorry, mate. He loves it. I'm sure he does. That's yeah. That's the face I'd have if you were up in my grill. That's the face I'd me. have if you were shoving the camera in my face. He had yeah. that face long before I got the camera out. Playing a bit of. Oh, hello, Basil. Playing a bit of Resident Evil too. Bazzy knows what's coming. Oh my God! You had look stupid. <laughs> I hate Mr. X so much. Yeah, Bazzy does too. Oh, don't follow me. I don't think he's going to follow me there. He's following me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Dinner time. It's been a strange day today. We've achieved nothing, I feel. Mm -hmm. Nothing's been achieved. What have you, You've had your dinner, haven't you? What yeah, did you have? I had boiled eggs. Boiled eggs and soldiers, and soldiers because uh, you're 30 years old. Yeah, I like it. Yes, there's nothing wrong with that. I, on the other hand, have this for my dinner. This is the same brand I had my uh, chicken fried rice the other day, so my hopes are high for this one. Fuel your preparation. Chicken vagita with rice. Yes, I know it's chicken fajita. Um, yeah, so looking forward to this one. The, uh, the packaging's exactly the same. This is just put on with a sticker and a nice sticker on the back as well. Chicken fajita with rice. Freeze dried meal, diced chicken breast and vegetables in fajita spices and rice. Marvellous! And the damage is 472 calories. Right, kettle's boiled, let's get it did. And I like these ones because they've got the fill lines inside, and there's a lot of good smells coming from this one. Fill line C, apparently. Yummy. Gotta say, this one smells good, like the chicken fried rice. It's a bit sloppier, so. Yeah, maybe um, fill line C is not the ideal fill line, but again, big bits of chicken in this bad boy. Mm, that's really good. This brand, oh lovely. It's not too salty, a lot of spices in there. Huge bits of chicken, nice rice, nice veggies. Mm, the bits of chicken are massive. This is really impressive. So, yeah, if, if you guys are struggling to find food, I recommend fuel your preparation. Very nice. Oh, okay, that was day six of a week on the apocalypse diet, and I'm get I'm over this now. This whole. Nightmare that seems to be developing all around us and worsening day by day is um, Yeah, it's something that is is pretty Unfathomable. I'm still wearing Grace's wedding ring. She uh, Was doing some deep cleaning of the kitchen earlier and uh, She gives me her rings to look after and I'm still wearing them just realized maybe I'll um, I'll not say anything and see uh, if she remembers, so look out for it tomorrow and see if I'm still wearing it. Um, but my breakfast this morning was my wicked pot, which was 
fine. It's very spicy, even though it's mild. Like, I'm, uh, I'm not sure I have enough toilet roll to last me after that bad boy. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a crisis going on. There's a shortage. Why are people putting toilet roll? Oh, my God. Uh, my lunch was my not noodle, which was really good. And um, if there were some more on the shelves, I would totally have some. But as it is, there are none whatsoever. So that is what that is. And uh, my dinner this evening was the, um, I can't even remember what they're called. Be prepared, I don't be pre And that was absolutely lovely. Not as nice as the chicken fried rice. Um, so I would definitely choose uh, the chicken fried rice over that one. But that's not to say the fajita wasn't good, because it was. So, um, yeah, I, I've got no more puddings left. Um, I've got some of my sweets left from yesterday, so I could always crank some of them out if I get desperate, but I'm alright so far. Um, yes, interesting, scary, I'm not sure in a week where things are going to be. You should probably know, because you'll be in that future. How is it? Can you let me know somehow if it's going to be okay? But um, yeah, it's quite frightening. So, w yeah... <laughs> we will see where things are. Please, everyone, stay safe. Um, do as you're told. Let's stop the spread of this, for it really, truly overwhelms our health systems. But we'll do all the conclusion at the end. It's, uh, yes, fun. I shall see you for the final day tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. For this, the penultimate day, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video if you can, and if you want to, you can support the show on Patreon and see the uh, the final day right now. Um, but you know, follow me on social media, comment below, call me a twat. I don't mind, cause I am. So yes, thank you for watching, and I shall see you tomorrow for the final day.